Greetings, fellow Cybertronians! It is I, Ironrod Prime. And today, I have something special. As you can see, this is not a Transformer. As a matter of fact, I have no idea what it is. But it looks cool, though. I got this at CVS about a couple of years ago and I don't know, I thought, I thought he looked cool and he does I have no idea what this guy's name is and I don't know what series he's from all I know is that well basically he's a bootleg And as for his articulation, well, that's pretty much it. Now, I'll give you a full 360 of this guy. Yes, he has his weird. I think there's a second part of him because. He has this weird mode where he's the top half of this bigger robot, and I don't know if there is a second part to this guy, or is he just some weird, you know, I don't know what the deal is with that. I mean, if anybody knows, uh, please tell me, because I'd love to find the other part of this guy. Let's give you close up of the of the details on this guy. As you can see, that's this nice face. Pretty generic really, but it is still nice. And if you look on his sides, he's got shoulder mounted rocket launchers. And I don't know if you can see that. You can't really see that, can you? Okay. There, that's a little better. You can see he has molded in missile detail. And he has it on both sides. So that's pretty cool. He's got a really nice chest plate. And again, he has his weird, uh, says, uh, Ultrasonic. I have no idea what that means. Then there's a picture of an eagle there. Come down to the legs. You see all the detail on him? All the blue and white detail on him? That's all sticker detail. And some of the stickers have come off. But, you know, it's no big deal. So, let's get this guy transformed, shall we? What you want to do, you want to come up here, fold that bit down, come in here, come over here, and But you gotta lift up your. Oh, did I mention his legs fall apart? <laughs> For no apparent reason. Don't, they're supposed to do that. I don't know why. Oh, and just to show you. Just to prove that this guy is supposed to do something else, but I don't know exactly what. He has this. Where you can fold that all the way back. 
and I have no idea what the hell that's supposed to be used for. I don't think it's for leg articulation because, well, it's like that, and that just looks weird. You could say, you could argue that that's leg articulation, especially if you do it like that, but it still looks weird. I'm positive this guy is meant to be used for something else, but I don't have the other figure. I don't even know what the other figure looks like. Anyway. So yeah, straighten his legs out, and you want to come in here and rotate with little these little uh, laser blasters, these little blasters out. Do the same on this side. If I can get my finger in there. Come on, what the hell? Ah, there it goes. Alright. they weren't this stiff when I first bought the guy. And then, come down here. And take the feet. And rotate them all the way down like that. Do the same on both sides. Come out here, unpeg these little side panels, and they will fold around and create half of the cockpit. We'll fold the other part around like that. Come in here, squash the legs together. There's actually a little Lips somewhere. There it goes. Okay. And then just join uh, the legs together, which is easier said than done. Hold on a sec. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Come on. What the I swear, he's usually not like this. He's usually pretty cooperative. I guess he's just a little camera shy. I don't know. Or And. Ah, come on. And there he is. I'm sorry about the shaky camera. I'm actually holding this thing up. He's that big. He will not fit on my camera. I have to, you have to hold my own camera to get this guy in full view. And as you can see, he transforms into a space shuttle of some kind. Now there is a second form to this space shuttle, which requires you to come over here and yeah, just yank that yank uh, this uh, shield plate off. And then come on here and rotate the fin, these two fin pieces up. And there you have a more, I don't want to say realistic, but it's more modernized shuttle looking shuttle. It loses a bit of detail, especially in the main, main body, but it gains, you can also take these off in robot mode. But it gains these really cool uh, eagle pictures on the shoulder pads, which are pretty cool looking. But that's about it. And he has some detail on the wings. Nice detail. He also has some detail on the inside wings as well. Which you never see unless he's in robot, unless you display him in robot mode this way. 
Oh, and look. Another head. This, this guy has, in total, three heads. I don't know why. But he does. So, that was whatever this guy is called. And, well, that's really all I have to say. I, I, he may be a brick, he may not be the best Transformer, but I like him. I like him, I think he's cool. And I really like him because I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm like one of the only guys I know of one of the only people that actually has him. Well, unless you have the original version. Assuming he has an original version. Because, you know, there are those original bootleg pieces out there. Mo being most of them... Most of them are made from other lines... Taken from other lines. But there are original bootlegs out there. But, anywho. Uh, so, yeah. That was my review on... Um, Uh, I, I don't know what to call this guy. Um, really, I call him, I call him Astro Train for some reason. I don't know why. Mainly because he transforms into a space shuttle, but I call him Astro Train. But, uh, anywho. So, yeah, if you guys enjoy this review, you know, rate, comment, do all your usual stuff. And I will be talking to you guys later. Take care.